Good afternoon and welcome back to my man cave. Getting ready to head out on a few week journey on, on Alaska on the Ruby Princess, Discovery Princess, Seattle, San Francisco, all those great places back to Las Vegas. But uh, anyhow, I want to address a few questions and comments I get from my email from you all. Appreciate you all subscribing to my channel and uh, email me anytime at Cruising with Mark. There's my card there. And I love meeting you all every time I'm on a cruise ship. It's fantastic. And uh, trying to make believers out of everybody on, on receiving free cruises. Look at my last videos I just put up on uh, how they're tightening up the, the hatches just a little bit on Princess with the free cruise offers. Not giving the, the Princess Plus program anymore. Um, but watch that video. I kind of explain it a little bit. But anyhow, I want to talk about... A couple misconceptions that we have. I just talked about in one of my videos, good cop, bad cop. Take a look at that one. Um, I've had several couples that wrote me back and said it didn't work. I explained why it didn't work. Okay, you can't be in the same cabin together. You better not have the same last name. But anyhow, that's that other video. So take a look at it. Um, I guess I'll title it good cop, bad cop. Um, but I wanted to talk to another one. Is people ask me. Mark, I buy in with, let's say, $3,000 every single night. And I play for three or four hours, and my average bet is just, let's just say your average bet's $50, $60, $70, $80, enough to get you green line, that's $50 to $99 average roll. Also playing blackjack, $50 to $90, $99 average roll. But say at the end of the night, you buy the $3,000, you play for three or four hours, and you walk and you got, you lost, let's say you had a really bad filter on you and you lost $500. Keep in mind, $3,000 buy-in times six nights is a $500 loss, you lost all your bankroll, okay? So $3,000, $500 a night loss, six nights, you're down to zero, goose egg, okay? Now, you will receive free offers, but that amount of money that you're buying in with and playing, only $50 an average roll to stay alive for hours, is probably gonna just get you an interior cabin, okay? You probably get, my best guess is interior cabin, $250, okay? There's been so many people on cruises that I see all the time, I ask them, what did you receive under the door? Nothing. Like I told you in another video, I'm getting ready to go on an Alaska cruise with my buddy Boston Steve, and uh, we were playing, and great guy. I mean, heck of a good guy. But he would play and play and play. He got nothing under his door, so I said, or he, he said, I'm gonna have to go talk to the host. This was Friday morning. And he, he finally got $500 of free play. But he didn't get a free interior room minimum. So you got to always do it. Always remember, buy in with, I'm going to say to get a free interior room now, you got to be buying in with $1,500. I used to say 1000 but they've tightened it up a little bit. And it's getting harder because they're not giving away as many free cruise offers because the cruise ships are booked, packed, solid, overflowing. Okay. A, it's summer. Families are there. So they are not as inept to give you a free cruise offer. So, you know, if you want to get, you know, to get a free balcony, you got to be at five grand, okay? People may differ. I cruise all the time, I can tell you. You need $5,000 buy-in for a free cruise. And you got to be over $100 average roll, black line, period. And if you want to get a free interior room, I used to say $3,000 would be get a balcony. I don't think it would get you a balcony anymore. I'm not trying to bring bad news to you. I just don't want you to have bad news on Friday morning when you don't get anything substantial slid under your door. So I would I would buy in with three thousand dollars, and uh, you know bet put the filter five hundred bucks on you. Now, so many of you all ask, and I say this all the time: Do you have to lose five hundred dollars every single night? No. Once in a while, you're going to win five hundred dollars each night. You might win a thousand or two thousand, but 
when you get down to $500, get out of there, cash and color off. So that's what I wanted to talk about. So many people say, well, what do I do with it? Do I take my chips back to the room? Do I take my chips over to the cashier? Do I put my chips in my pocket? There's only one thing you do. You buy it with $3,000, the box man records $3,000 for you on your medallion, period. You play and play for three hours, okay? I don't care how you to show loss, win, I don't care. I'm not gonna explain that to you. If you wanna email me, I'll explain some other ideas on that. But straight up, let's just say that you have the misfortune of losing $500 the first night, or the second night, I don't care what night it is. You lose 500 bucks. That means that you are down to $2,500, okay? Take that $2,500 in all these colored chips, and put them out there to the box man and because they're gonna say hey let me count your chips up don't leave the table with your chips in your hand okay there are people who walk away like this uh they want to count it and calculate it and they want to see what your profit or loss is okay so and they also keep track of their whole racks up there with mostly with the black chips okay but so they're going to record that you have twenty five hundred dollars and you bought them with three thousand so they have a sh low showing that you lost $500. That's not a bad thing trying to get free cruises because losers get comp better than winners, period. Watch another one of my videos, I talk about that, okay? So you lose $500, you take, so he's gonna give you $2,500 in black chips. There you are, $2,500 in black chips. Whoop. Hopefully you don't do that in the casino. You don't want to drop all your chips. That's not a good thing. But anyhow, $2,500 in black chips. You take that, you can put it in your pocket, but they know, record it, that you have $2,500 in chips. You lost 500, you bought them with 3,000. Take this up to the cashier. Just turn that in to the cashier, okay? They know you're coming. Take in your medallion, let it turn green on that little pad, Okay, let it turn green, okay. Then they see that you bought in with 3,000 and then you got $2,500 here. They record that, then they give you $2,500 back in $100 bills. Come back the next night with $2,500 or if you want to regenerate it and put, make 3,000, it doesn't matter, okay? They already got you losing $500 and they got you at first buy-in at 3,000. So if you only want to come back with $2,500, fantastic, okay? Keep playing hard though, but like I said, is it better to come back with regenerated $3,000? Absolutely it is better, because that will give you um, maybe just a little bit better offer. And like I said, there's some of you that will disagree with me on that. I know it's 100% the truth, period. Okay. And let me tell you what one of the big casino managers told me, and uh, this is the truth. He said to me, he said, Mark, he said, let me ask you a question. From the casino's point of view, you tell me which player we would rather have. The person like you that comes in, buys in with a high number, stands there forever, plays with the highest average roll you can, a black line. Now, you can go to $500 and get, you know, purple line, whatever. But at a really high level average, and you end up making that night two, three, four hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, or you may lose two or three hundred bucks. Versus the person that comes in, slams down five thousand dollars, stands there for an hour, loses five thousand dollars, and leaves. He said, from a casino point of view, who would we rather have come stand at that table? He said, the other person, not me. Even though that I try to bring people to the table because I have a big rack I show and I, you know, I'm playing and I'm friendly and all those kind of things. The casino would rather have that guy's $5,000 loss and let him get and go and come back the next night than have somebody like me who's gonna stand there for five hours. I'm honest, and this is honest, I'm taking up one of the 16 spots. I'm taking up real estate and I'm winning money or I'm losing just a little bit. 
And if you just lose up to your filter, you're still just losing a little bit. You're not like the guy that comes in with $5,000 and drops it and leaves. So the gentleman I talked about in the last video, watch my other video I just put up, he lost $7,000 in a week and he only stayed at the craps table for like maybe an hour every night. And what he did was, you know, I showed you all, you know, the two different offers I got one month later, all both on the well, Caribbean Princess. This one was uh, on May 13th, playing Balls to the Wall. I got the free drink packet, balcony, and, and, and uh, $500 of free play. One month later, June 17th, same cruise ship, same host, same pit boss, same casino manager, same everything, same craps table. Played his balls to the wall the same amount of time. And uh, I received free balcony stateroom and no $600 in free play and no Princess Plus program. Because they distinguished, got rid of that one. Look at my other videos. I talk about why they got rid of the Princess Plus program. Okay. But this guy lost $5,000 this past week or two weeks ago, whenever it was. And he got the free balcony. He got $600 in, in the free play. But he also got the Princess Plus Players Plus 3 deal, the drinks, the Wi-Fi, and the gratuities. Because he will drop $7,000. Watch my other video. I talk about how to show that or, you know, not show it. But I'm not willing to lose $7,000 just to get the Princess Plus program. It's, it's very valuable. Take a 20-day cruise or you take one of these that are 15 or 15-day cruises. If you have two people, that's at least $2,000. But anyhow, um, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, but all I'm saying is just, what was I talking about? Just, that's the story. Just uh, keep playing and uh, cash in your chips every night. Don't take them back to your room. I mean, if you want to squirrel in a few greens, fantastic okay email me cruisingwithmark at gmail.com i'll answer anything i'll kind of give you some ideas on that so till then subscribe to my channel you all have a really good day